So, <laughs> game is starting now. Okay, so we're going to have mouse control on the red t uh, as the red team this time. We're going to have Praydin as his support, bright wing. We're going to have Razalat as his sicknesses stitches with that hockey mask. Oh, he looks so scary. Uh, Achu is on that master skin Zeratul. Lark is on the Kerrigan style Nova. And uh, Philly Burke is going to be playing that Sonya, who's going to be top lane solo. Right, and, and on the Kappa Pride team, we got Branius ETC, Torf on the Raynor, Xerox on the Lili, Chilla on the Sylvanas, and Blurk on the Rhaegar. So let's let's do it, man. Let's do it up. Now we've got the two stealths from uh, from Mouse Control. Maybe going in to see what they can do, but I don't know how good Kappa are going to be at seeing these stealth heroes. Well, they, they are picking up the Watchtower, of course, straight away to grab that vision. And I actually have a Fog of War on for some reason. I'm not quite sure. If you sure. hit E, it should turn the uh, Fog of War off. For... Oh, there we go. Did it work? And it also changed my seed on my stream. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it changed my seed. Okay, well, interestingly, we're going to have, uh, for the level 1 talent pick, for Zeratul and Sonya both getting blocked, both going for that tanky. They was Stitches is going to go for a slam. Rhaegar gets engaged on there. They're under the turret, though, so there's going to be that mad turret damage coming out. It does hit Brightwing quite hard, but because of that passive healing, she's going to be fine. She's going to heal up. Um, it is a four-lane bottom, but they do have Sylvanas, who's going to be able to cleave. So that's good. But they have both used their um, fountains. So they you know, don't The have... decision to have four people bottom is to counter that Sylvanas push, really. You, you'd expect. Like gang coming up here. Double. And we're going to see Lily being bursted down. That's because of the Raynor. But she's going to get out pulled by Raynor. That parks his passive, but they do both escape nonetheless. So that's the passive from Raynor proc. And that's four fountains down already. For mouse control. And it's that Razalat hook just showing why he is good on that hero, yeah, why he is known they for They landed it. a just, great hook there. It's just that Rainer heal, too strong. And I mean, the roaming between lanes is going to be so horrible because of the double stealth. And that's an, they're getting in the mines really early. We see Rhaegar going, he's the first to enter into the mines. And. Oh, and down on the bottom, we actually see Raynor getting completely destroyed. They've, they've set up a trap here, and Lili's healing coming out still, but but ETC trying to play offensive there. Lili's still in their offensive, but the, but the Sylvanas gets bursted down, luckily escapes, and she's followed closely by the, by the Nova. And can we see a double escape? The hook just misses, it hits that tower. And it hits that wall and, and doesn't land anything. But an, uh, once again, we have another small engage in the mines. Um, and ETC, Raynor, and Rhaegar are going to pick up a few skulls there. But an engage from from Sonya. And we have Nova coming in from the back. There's a slowdown from Rhaegar to get that. But ETC gets bursted down by the Nova. Lili coming in now, and the Raynor's being dropped low as well. We have Sylvanas trying to come in to clean up maybe some of it, but they just don't have any damage out currently on the enemy team. And I'm quite surprised to see that this team actually doesn't have a lot of sustain in the team fights. Kappa Pride just getting pretty crushed on the damage, but I thought they would sustain a lot better. Yeah, I mean, you say that, but... There should, like mouse control, I, I thought we're going to get way more kills than they currently have. I thought they'd have got a kill on the Lili and the Rainer a couple times, here, and on the Sylvanas even. But it's the fact that the Lili and the Rainer have been able to just constantly heal up those people after they've been jumped on with those rotations. They've not, they've not actually been losing quite as heavily as they potentially could have been because of this double support. The, they actually have a massive early game golem. But yeah, this 85 skulls is just so... We're going to see a huge push, though, from Kappa Pride. Yeah, up in the top. Up in the but top. Razzlat's coming in on the back on that And from behind, Lili rocking her speed increase. Not enough. Sylvanas gets dropped as well by that Zeratul. And there's still a big push going on down on that bottom lane. 
Um, they're gonna try and line up a big gank here. Not much communication coming out from Kappa Pride, obviously, otherwise they would have been out there by now. ETC landing a stun on Sonya, gonna deny that engage. Nova landing a quick burst on the ETC. ETC does drop low. Uh, hopefully Raynor has his passive. He does, the passive procs. Zeratul is in there, bursting him down once again. There's nothing he can do. He's trying to escape. He has no knockback. Zeratul goes back into stealth, and he gets sniped by the Nova there. That kill secured, not the kill steal. Just saying. Kill secured <laughs> right there. Um, meanwhile, I think it's an interesting decision. Mouse Control's defending this golem instead of just going up top and pushing with them. Because I think they could end the game off this one golem. Once again, the Zeratul yeah. massive burst in Venom comes out. Lily is running for her life. She gets blocked in there by the Zeratul and unfortunately is taken out once again. And this is once again going to be a huge lead for mouse control on, on a map. And uh, the stun is going to land on ETC and the stun landed on Raynor as well. But he's fine. His passive is still up. They both take Fountain. Rhaegar trying to trying to kill that, that golem, but... It's just so beefy, and he gets destroyed by the Nova right there. Yeah, those Nova snipes coming out. The fact that she's uh, she's not even taking Gathering Power, she's gone with the Envenom, so... Yeah. It's, it's a little bit odd to see with the Envenom here. And another burst coming out from... from and it does get taken out. A pull landed on Rhaegar. The Root has landed on ETC. He's just sat there. Rhaegar gets bursted down. ETC trying to survive. He's using his E to try and heal up. I think he may get out of there. We don't know yet, though. The snipe is incoming. She gets speed increase from the uh, pixie dust. But I think that hook just missed. I mean, it's just out of range. Just, just about. But Sylvanas is dead as well. We didn't catch that. Picked up by the Brightwing Zeratul on the top. Brightwing right. taking blink heal. In yeah, Venom comes out. Coming, yeah. And another hook missed. But that's okay. Because that's quite hit, hard to hit. But that was a waste of an oh and we do see triple tap that interesting is... because it's not normally the the choice you see precision strike just so strong yeah really. Reno engaging on the nova but to no avail unfortunately she does get out using that clone and a hook landed on, and he's stuck in there with the stitches and there's nothing he can do they just need to try and burst but they zeratul comes in and finishes Razalat just using his uh, oh, to escape. his putrid bile to, yeah, to run out the extra movement speed he gets. But this big engagement Stun coming awesome. in and the tower's nuking the Sonya down. But she's gaining heals from that whirlwind. She is going to get taken out here. ETC dropping low. Zeratul coming out for a, for a quick burst but he's going to get out of there. And we have two alive here. Raynor envenomed and getting bursted by the Nova. A pull landed by Stitches and he does go down. So we got Lily and Rhaegar here. Can they make the keep the dream alive and keep these uh, towers from dying? Razalat has just been f almost flawless with his hook so far. It's just been scary to see. The Rhaegar engaged by the Zeratul. That clone taking a lot of soap from the tower. And the Nova is going to get out of there quite easily. Space shift on the brand. No big shields coming in. That's going to be all she wrote. Still really. no ults for Team Kappa. Still no ults, they need their ults, they need to soak that top lane. There's a big I mean, they're push. not even close to getting it either. They're level, they've only just hit level 9. So, yeah. Lily does get bursted down really quick there. ETC drops as well, and the Raynor, his passive is progged, but he's straight back on that target with that Shadow that Assault. Shadow Assault, yeah. Uh, interesting choice, but it's working out really well for them. So I think they just want to close out quite early. The face shift onto the Sylvanas, but she is killed anyways by the Sonya. Rhaegar well, is currently... Yeah, face shift was onto the Sonya. Yeah, Rhaegar has actually been down here doing work, getting skulls, and that is huge. Because if he didn't do that, they would maybe be 100-0. At least they have some skulls. But Rhaegar trying to get escape, gets pulled and completely annihilated there. <laughs> Please donate. <laughs> There's the Sylvanas. Fight on my little king pin, god damn it. Uh, we're gonna have Lily versus Nova here for these bottom, yep. first bottom campus skulls. And her I team's not coming go down, but Nova can't actually land a good amount of burst damage here because of that healing. Sylvanas coming in, gonna land at the, the, the W. But she wasted her E, so she has no escape now. Lily gets pulled in by the. 
And they missed their pulls there. Luckily, that would have been horrible. But they're getting followed out of the mines. Raynor does get bursted. His passive is procking. There's the ult coming in from Lili. But it doesn't land in time because it's got a bit of a ramp up time. Sylvanas trying to escape here. There's farts from the stitches. He's trying to slow down that Sylvanas so that they can catch him out. The... And he does get absolutely destroyed there. Another pull oh, landed on Lili, but she's got her fast feet. Can she escape? Yes, she just about gets out of there. Luckily for Team Kappa, they didn't lose too much no. there. But they're still... I actually don't know what happened. How have, uh, how have Kappa got 43 skulls on this golem? They, Did somebody come in and steal it? It was the Rhaegar. Rhaegar went in there, balls deep, suicided himself for the skulls. Oh, wow. That I didn't even play. see that. Wow. That was a fantastic Interesting play, right? enough here... We see that the that the, the red golem's dropping so low, so fast, and no one's gone for these merc camps yet either. But the ult coming out onto the Raynor, his passive is up! And he tried to get burst by Zeratul, but it didn't happen. The root it's landed the on Sylvanas. There's the bloodlust coming in from Rhaegar! We, we did see a bloodlust, it. but it did nothing! They didn't even get an engage from Bloodlust, but it's still up and they're about to shrink down to normal size again. There we go. ETC lands a big ult on the Nova and the Brightwing and even hits the stitches there, but it's getting bursted down a massive amount. Lily has been killed. We still have Rhaegar alive. Raynor has no passive. He's going to die to the ult from Stitches. Stitches getting bursted down under the turret does die to that. Sylvanas ETC and Rhaegar died versus off the background. four people now. And it's there's another... Nothing that Team Kappa can do against this. Right, it is just, just huge. We have, we, we're now going to see a lone Lily trying to defend her turret. The Panda Princess. Hashtag the dream. I don't know if they're even going to get, they don't get the turret. That's lucky. They still don't get the turret. So not only getting kills out of that. And Brightwing is going to back in the bush. They don't see it, but Sonya could get nuked quite heavily here and actually ends up nuking the Raynor. And there drops the Lili again. Yeah, that Nova burst damage just able to do so, so much. much work in this game. And a coupled with the wreck with the um Zeratul is just huge. And they're gonna try and escape, but they have no ancestral. So and the ultimate coming out, but Body blocked by the ETC. He sacrifices himself for the Rhaegar. Not even needed though, because it was all eaten by the healing well. The healing well took all that damage. So the ETC died it for nothing. It's such a shame. Rhaegar bursted from Nova. They could engage on this, but they're not going to. That's one keep taken in favor of mouse control. Yes. And Lili just trying to double back. He gets bursted up by the by the Zeratul, and that's the importance of actually sitting so far behind. And the Bloodlust comes in, but they're not going to engage off of it. They need to get an engage. The ult from... And are we going to see an ult from ETC? I think it got interrupted. It's already on cooldown, though. Now it's off cooldown. Oh, when they get it doesn't matter. completely down there. Because they're all dead. And, it's comp and oh, there's no. just a massive amount of cleave. But remember, they're not... I don't know if they're high enough level to solo a base down with no minions. I really... But if you look at the kill difference, 39 for 2 in a 13-minute game. And Lily just gets an oh, she, she just wanted to go out there. This is the fall of Kappa Pride, it seems, guys. It, this could be the fall. ETC, he's got to have his ult now. This is the last chance. Will he ult? He ults one person, unfortunately. <laughs> and But it's, it's doing work. The tower is hitting that guy really hard. And 25% Rain up. It, it does have his passive. The passive does proc. No more healing is going to come out from this Rhaegar for a while. The turret is cleaving hard here, but they're going to be nuking that turret, trying to get it down as fast as they can to, to end this game. Rain or try to escape here. The turret is going down, and the and the Nova kills the turret with her ult. So unlucky yeah. there for Kappa Pride. They didn't win a game Poor today. Down. Nova celebrating with an interesting animation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, mouse control. This, that Sonya Stitches pickup, you, you see why Razoat was feared for it uh, before he got nerfed. Yeah. He still should be feared for it, even after the nerf. I feel, doing work as it well. feels bad, man, for Kappa Pride. But, you know, I feel like they had a very interesting few games here. I mean, they had a good run. They had some interesting drafts, and it was very, very, very entertaining. I enjoyed watching them. The I enjoyed watching them a lot. That was good, good, job, by, good job by Kappa Pride.
I'm proud of all of you. We do have who do we have now? We have um, I believe it's because it's mouse noisy llamas versus uh, break no not break nexus. New order of bosses should be the next.